Good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray that this is encouraging this morning. Um, it's not going to be that you get to cut up and you get to be crunk and all of that good stuff. This morning, I just want you to, um, I got to say this. I just want you to enjoy yourself. Like, I don't know another way to express that life is so short. I don't know another way to tell people that it's not worth it. Everything that uh, you could do um, is not even worth it. Um, I have to ask myself a lot of times if what I have to say is so is, is really that important to people. If, uh, you know, what I want to, uh, relay or get across is really that important to people. Um, I ask myself, I'm telling, I, I check myself a lot of times and let me tell you why. Because in this life that we live in, a lot of times people are not, uh, acknowledging that they, they're wrong. They're not acknowledging that they've hurt you. They're not even acting like they know that this stuff that they did to you hurt. Uh, we live in a world where people are acknowledging their part of something or, you know, of an incident. And so it will drive you crazy. It really will drive you crazy. Good morning, Tori. Good morning, Arthur. It will drive you crazy trying to figure out how come they won't acknowledge this stuff. But this morning, I need to encourage you. Let me tell you what it'll do to you. Let me, let's do like a little wellness check this morning. Um, this stuff will drive you crazy with you trying to figure out how come people don't see what they're doing wrong. I have never in my entire 47 years experienced amnesia, selective amnesia, like I am experiencing now. The people don't see how they act. They don't see what they're doing. They don't. It's almost like a cloud of smoke. Good morning, Cheryl. Uh, it's like a cloud of uh, confusion or something in the air. But let me tell you this morning, you cannot live your life trying to figure this out. You cannot live your life trying to prove yourself correct or prove that you didn't do that. Prove that you didn't say that. Prove that you ain't, you know, you weren't participating in that. You, you don't have, I'm telling y'all, life is short. And. It's some other stuff going on. Is anybody, it's, it's, look, is it's everybody asleep? It's some big stuff going on. Yesterday I asked if people needed prayer now. When I looked at that timeline, that, that uh, post, there are some major things going on in this world. Major things going on just in people's houses. There are some major things going on on people's jaw. I ain't talking about, no, we can't get along with the lady. You know, because what I done found out about people at Jaws is we just got so many strong-minded people and people who just all think they got the answer, you know, and they know and it's their way or the highway. I've just seen people um who... uh. They they got to be right. They 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 just have to be right. Good morning, Joy. They they have to be right. I, I I'm telling you, I have never in my entire life experienced people like my eyes are wide open. Let me just say that. I'm woke. I'm all the way woke. You know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy because even even with myself, let me use me. I am I have to be extra special careful, really. That I'm not preaching something that I'm doing because it's so easy. I don't know why it is that we can, we easily can amen when we, when it's being said by somebody else, but we don't see we are like that. And so I want to make sure, I want to make sure that Prince is, is not one of these controlling, manipulating people. I want to make sure I ain't causing no confusion. Like I don't want to be up testifying about, uh, how you supposed to treat your spouse and I'm treating mine crazy. Like I don't want to be one of them kind of people. So I'm, I'm telling you, I, I will, I will whole hesitate. I'm telling you, cause nowadays 
You can't be so quick to be talking about what everybody else is doing. Because I'm telling y'all, we are living in a world where there's like a smoke cloud or something. Good morning, Sabrina. Like a huge smoke cloud or something. I'm telling you where it's. You, you're going to be around people who are not acknowledging themselves. So this is what you got to do. You got to worry about yourself. Worry about whether you are acting right. Worry about what you're doing to somebody. Because when you have to answer to God, it's going to be about you. It's going to be all about why owe you. It's going to be about you. So, yeah, I know that people are walking around here. I don't, I don't know. I can't. Y'all... This is the message God gave me this morning, but I promise y'all, it is it is a complex of <laughs> when dealing with people. I'm serious, cause they don't see, they don't see how animated they get. They don't see how controlling they are. They don't see how manipulating they are. They don't see how confusing they are. Yes, uh, they don't see. Thank you, Cheryl. They don't see this stuff. And so when they don't see this stuff, you, 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 the person you walk around, you be like, Lord, they just kind of stay up you in the back and just kind of let you bleed. And then you just, you know, we still anointed. We still go. And, and I'm telling you, when they do that kind of stuff to me, I just be like, but the Holy Spirit told me, princess, all of this stuff, baby, is a distraction. All of this stuff right here will keep you from praying. All this stuff right here will keep you from coming to me, talking to me. Keep covering your other brothers and sisters that are in trouble. And on that prayer request thing, those that said stuff, there were a lot of you in my inbox on yesterday with your prayer request. It's a lot of stuff going on around here besides me trying to figure out how come you got an issue and how come I'm too like like the devil has us so distracted with she didn't speak to me. He didn't say something to me. She lied on me. He lied on me. We, uh, he's doing this. He's doing that. She's doing all of that stuff. When it is people losing their kids, it's people on hospital beds that are, don't know Jesus and getting ready to exit this world. Hear what I'm telling you this morning. There are people who are in, uh, situations, uh, abusive situations. There are people, y'all are on jobs with people who who are going through some traumatic, traumatizing situations. And we're up here talking about positions and where they park their car and they sat in my seat and, uh, <laughs> you know, all of this. When people don't acknowledge their stuff, it's difficult to be around them. It's difficult difficult to be around people who have amnesia. It's difficult because you you know what happened for real, and um, they they don't see this. Y'all see what I'm saying? But we don't have this kind of time. If if um, Jim Jim, I'm trying to make up some names because then I want I don't want it to be real people. Jim Jim and uh. Loki, Loki, want to be right here doing all that. We don't, us, we don't have time for that there. You don't have time to be trying to say, I didn't do that. No, you lying on me, whatever. Let that lie be whatever. Let that lie be whatever, because I'm telling you, it's something that the devil is using to get you. Good morning, David, miss you. Uh, it's something that the devil, the enemy is using to get you sidetracked. And nobody care about that. It's some major stuff going on. When you work at the hospital, you hear rapid response needed. Rapid cardiac arrest this. Cold colors. Like we got a rainbow of colds at this hospital. And that's what keep me on alert. I'm telling you, I don't have time to be worried about, oh, she, well, she, she wanted that purple. And she always coming in here doing that and doing this and and here come this person and we at church and she didn't speak and we at this you know what i'm saying dysfunction and you know i i tried to talk to her she didn't want to talk i don't nobody have time in oh nope 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 there are people look go look at that post yesterday there are people marriages are on the verge of 
they just it's about over. There are children that need a father, children that need a mother. There are people sick, people battling cancer. I'm trying to name stuff so we can do a reality check. You know, somebody they didn't open the door. We don't have time for that there. I'm telling you. They came in here. They always be starting with me. Why are they always starting with you? Why? Why are they always starting with you? Because I'm going to tell you something. What I know about some people. Some people don't fool with princes. Don't come nowhere near with me, me with no foolishness. I'm telling you. I, I'm telling y'all. I'm not bragging on myself. I'm telling y'all to put some stuff in place. But it's some folks that don't come to princes with no foolishness. Because they know princes and not. <laughs> she not. I'm not. I'm going to be very loving. I'm going to be uh, kind to you because I want to please Jesus. But I'm not going to be about no foolishness. Do you hear what I'm saying? Why are the people coming to you with some foolishness? You have to ask yourself these questions. You have to ask yourself. Now, some of them try me. Some of them come sideways. Mm -hmm. Some of them come sideways. Cause, and then my husband said, I don't know why they do that because they already know about your crazy stuff. You, you, you just be on, you just be on some other stuff. But what I'm saying is, I'm not entertaining all that. Even when they come try me, I'm not entertaining all that. Because let me tell you what I realized. I, at any time, I'm telling you, thank y'all. Name some stuff. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, David. Toria. Yes, ma'am. You know, we're supposed to be out here doing kingdom business or whatever. And so I'm telling y'all, it's just, it's too much foolishness going on around here when we got some major stuff. When this week, this week alone, this week alone, just this week, and today is Friday, since Sunday, I have had three people that I know, 55 and less, gone, bye, gone over to the other side to meet the maker gone. There are six people with children that are 16 years old and younger that are gone. No longer here on this earth to be bothered with any of this stuff that we're talking about. These people are hurting. These people are suffering. Okay. There are four people who have lost aunties, uh, grandmama, um, you know, family members like that. This week that I know. I ain't talking about what you know. You got a whole different story, different testimony. This week. And we up here talking about, well, I thought she would come and she ain't come. I thought he was going to call us and whatever. Or he's still doing this and he's still doing. What are y'all talking about? What what are y'all talking about? Am I, is my circle, Um, I don't know how to put it. I don't want to. It's, it's, it, are we on alert? Like, are we sleeping? What, what's the mind? And then we're so overwhelmed with that foolishness that we don't see that that stuff is going to kill us. That is the stuff. That is the stuff. Hey, Brandy, how you doing? Thank you for hanging with me. That is the stuff that's going to choke the life out of us. That is the stuff. We got some stuff going on in our house we can't even keep up with because we in other people's houses. We got some issues that we're not dealing with in our own situations and, and because we are helping that girl who keep calling us with all her problems and her problems ain't any real problems. All she got to do is close her legs, shut her mouth, stop running after somebody, whatever. All she got to do, she got a solution to her problem. You have covered yourself in her mess that you can't keep up with your own mess. You're not finished with your work. Y'all know we true feels hurt over here. You're not finished with your work. You're supposed to be doing something else, but you can't do the something else because you is you are distracted with this stuff, and that's what the devil doing. He wants us to be just foolish, not acknowledging nothing, not not even seeing what's really going on. It's some stuff we ain't gonna be able to change. It's just some stuff we're not gonna be able to change. Some people we're not gonna be able to change. One thing that princess had to tell herself is that princess children, princess children are all the way grown. Okay, according to the government, according to the age factor, all that. My children are all the way grown. If my children start saying what they're gonna be doing, whatever, you know who I got to talk to about that, God. Cause uh, let me tell you something. And my children ain't even doing nothing. That's what I praise God for now. 
do I do they have some things that I would like for to be better than they like? My daughter gave a prayer request on yesterday. Yes. But what I'm saying is I can't just get so bogged down that they ain't doing what I think they should be doing and going where I think they should be going and just got myself all wrapped up in that and then I got work to do. I can leave here before my kids. Mm-hmm. I can live here before my kids. So I'm just telling y'all, it's, 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 we own some other stuff. It's like we just a smoke cloud of, um, confusion. I don't know what it is, but people may not acknowledge ever. They might not acknowledge what they did to you. you people that I have been around that have hurt me, they ain't sitting up here talking about some, yeah, girl, I remember when I hurt you. I remember that. They ain't talking about that. You can't stay there. You can't stay there. You got to move on. You cannot stay in that place. Yes. Mindset. God, you got to change that mindset. Yeah, God has to do that. You have to ask and you got to want that. Yes, ma'am, Cheryl. Thank you, Sabrina. But yeah, we, 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 I don't know what to say. We, we walking around here, moping, head down. Look, look, listen, your time is short. Y'all, I don't know what it is I, that people keep thinking. Um, if, if princes get depressed, princes can't stay depressed long. I go get me some help. If princes can't, uh, deal with certain things, princes go get some help. I'm telling you, I don't learn with life's lesson. I have had a lot going on. I'm telling y'all, when princes come out, you're going to see. It's not a joke. But I have had a whole bunch of stuff go on in my life. And what I realized is I can't take on all that stuff by myself. And I didn't want to be heavily medicated. So I had to go somewhere and vent and talk. Um, whatever. Mm-mm. Get to this, you know. Uh, I don't know. I'm telling y'all, the devil is trying to distract us. We don't have this kind of time. We need to be praying. I'm asking for people to pray with me on those prayer requests that's in that timeline. Uh, You know what I'm saying? I'm asking for people to help me. Hobson, hello. Good morning. I don't want to mess up your first name. It's pretty. Might have to use that in a book. Uh, first person I met with name spelled like that. Um... I'm telling y'all, we the devil is just confusing us. I'm telling you, we just busy about nothing. Busy about, about nothing. And that's, I'm saying it the way I feel it. But I'm going to go on into my job today. You're going to be around some people. I'm telling you that are not about nothing. They competing against you. We don't have time to compete. What is you talking about? We got a project to do together. It's some strong-minded folks. You can't tell them nothing. You can't try to convince them. You're wasting time trying to tell somebody or convince some people that your way, it make more sense. They don't see it. We y'all gonna figure that out. They don't want to see that your way is better. They don't want to. Some people so thick headed, so uh stuck in their ways, so can I'm telling you, so I don't know what to tell y'all. I just want y'all to not to focus on the people. Thank you, Toria. Just don't focus on the people. We don't have time to focus on the people. Go pray for somebody. Go love on somebody. Go extend a hand. Yesterday I was in the line. I said, Lord, tell me something that I could do right now. Like I want to, I want to be used right now. And I was in the cafeteria. And I said, Lord, I want to be used right now. Right now, I want to be used. Please, Jesus. That's how I was talking. When I walked in the room, I want to be used right now in this place. I want somebody to see that you're still working, see that you're still able. I want right now in this room. That's what I started proclaiming. In my brain, I was talking just like I'm talking to you right now. I said, Lord, I want to. I want my timing to be off. I want my timing to be lined up with your word and order my steps. So, like, Lord, right now, use me right now. And so I got my little snack and got into got in the line. I said, uh-uh, I don't want to leave out of here without being used. I don't want to uh, leave out of this room, this cafeteria, without being used. And so I just did the, what you say, play it forward or pay it forward or whatever it was. So I said to the man in front of me, I said, I would like to pay for this man's food. And I try not to say it loud, right? So... It was so funny because I said it to the, the cafeteria person ringing up the food. And so he was like, okay. And so he said, excuse me, can you open up your container? Talking to the guy behind me, a young man. And he opened up the container. And that's a soldier. So I know, you know, 
I know what I see or think that, you know, maybe going on with his life. That he, you know, he gets a check, but it doesn't matter. See, you don't ever know. So I kept telling God I want to be used right then. So then the man told him to open up his food and so open up his tray. So he opens up his tray and he, all he has is three pieces of bacon and some uh, hash brown. And here at this job, they don't even cost that much. Like uh, all our stuff together was $3.65. And so I felt like in that moment, that wasn't really enough or really much. Well, let me tell you about the Holy Spirit. If you tell God, just use me right now. Use me here. Use me over there. Use me to speak to somebody on Facebook. Just out of the blue, send somebody a text message or uh, something and say, I'm praying for you. I love you. You can make it. Anything like that that's being used. And so as we walk out, he said, man, why did you do that? I said, oh, because I, I just want to be used by God. Right there. Right there was a Holy Ghost moment. Right there, he said, his exact words were, God let you do that for me? God told you to do that for me? I said, well, I just wanted to be used, and I wanted him to use me in any way that he could, and that wasn't no big deal or whatever. He said, yes, it was, because I didn't think he even knew me. Right there, 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 right there. There ain't no accolades I want. That's not something I'm saying for y'all to say princess, ooh, we, whatever. No. That right there was a moment, an opportunity. If you tell God to, to use you, because that's what's going on in this world while we tell him, talking about somebody don't like us. He's sitting up here thanking God don't like him while we sitting up doing all of that. So he said, God let you say something to me? God told you to say something to me? I said, no, I was just going to pay for you. I ain't trying to lie about it. I ain't trying to be deep and trying to make him think that God spoke to me and said, I said, God, I want to be used. I want to be used. And I didn't want to leave that room without being used. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I didn't want to, I wanted to do something. But then if you just line yourself up and tell you listen to God instead of listening to these folks walking around here, because everybody don't want to be happy. I'm telling you, everybody, everybody they, they don't, don't feel like anything going to be different in their life. And so that, you just have to pray for them kind of people, I'm telling you, because they, they are lost. And so that don't mean they can't be found. That don't mean they can't be found. That don't mean you get to cut everybody off. You got to seek God. That's what I'm trying to tell you because you don't know where people are mentally. But anyway, long story short, he said, ma'am, the next time I see you, I'm going to pay you back. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I said, no, 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 no. You've just given me my reward. <laughs> You've just given me confirmation that I'm on the right track. I said, that's all I want to know is that God is hearing me when I say, use me, God. I don't want to just be saying stuff. I said, no, 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 no. I said, and then y'all know I don't really like to hug people. But guess what? I like those encounters. I like those because those are God moments. And so I said, if you don't mind, I want your name so I can pray. So I looked at his badge, got his name, and I said, I'm going to pray. And me and him parted. Went our separate ways. I don't know if I will ever see him again. But I know that he was reintroduced. To the Holy Spirit. I understand that. He had an encounter. And I had one too. So that's all I'm telling y'all today. Do not worry about whether folks acknowledging stuff. And, and saying whatever. Cheryl I got you. I see you Sabrina. Sabrina can you pray with me for Cheryl. Tori, all of y'all, can y'all pray this morning? She's going to get that joy back. Joy, prophetess Joy, can you pray for Cheryl with me today? She's going to get that joy back. Mm, She's going to get that back in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And so I'm going to go on to my job. Ask God to use y'all. Ask God to use y'all. Wherever, anywhere, anyhow, any way he see fit. Because we, we got to be about kingdom business, not all this other stuff. Y'all have a blessed day.